Hello everyone, it's Susan and today I want to talk to you a little bit about Gmail and helping you organize your inbox. I know some of you uh, get very frustrated because your emails will disappear or sometimes you have read them and then you can't find them again. So today I'm going to show you some different ways that you can organize your inbox and then um, change your display density. And then the final thing that I'm going to talk about is how to change the theme or your background and make that whatever you want. So first of all, let's take a look at the different ways that you can um, change your the way your inbox looks. So the way it is set up right now, this is what the default looks like. Um, everything is here on um, the, in the main body. There is no separation, no categories. And if this is what you like, then go ahead and stick with this. If this is something that you think is too much, then we can show you how to change that. So if you want to change how your inbox looks, there's a couple ways you can do that. There's a little arrow right here, and if you click that arrow, you can see that you have the different types, and you can read the little um, couple sentences about it and see how that might work for you. Um, if you want to go over here into settings, this is another way that you can get into your inbox to change that you just go to settings you open it up and you come over here to, to inbox you go over here to default which is what i had set and i'm going to say uh, that i want important first i click on that make sure you change save your changes we'll go back and here are the important ones first so these are all marked as important and this is how you, if you want your important ones first, then as you roll down, you can see I've got everything else. So important here, everything else here. So let's go back again and we'll do, click on it. Let's go back to settings, it's being on right here. And inbox, remember, I can have my unread first. If my unread messages get mixed up with some of my other ones, I can say, these are my unread, these I have not read them yet, I am aware of them, these are everything else. So I can set it up that way. I can go back again and go back to my inbox. I can put my starred first. So I have, I have starred them, okay, I want to go back and I have no starred ones. You may have some starred ones, but then everything else falls below. And then the last one, we'll change it. And this is my personal preference. I'm going to make it a priority inbox. I'll save my changes. We go back and I have my important and unread that come up to the top. And then I can go down to my starred, which I don't have any, but sometimes I do. Sometimes I star them and I keep them for a while and then my everything else. So whatever you like, whatever you're comfortable with, you can go ahead and change that. Now let's go over here to the settings again and click here and you have a display density and that display density can change the look of your, your inbox as well. So this is the comfort comfortable right now. I'm going to click on the cozy. You can see the cozy is a little different and then I'll click on the compact and then it makes it a little smaller and as it says, a little more compact. So you can use any of those three, whatever you're most comfortable with. The third thing I want to talk to you about is changing your theme. Now right now I have my own picture in the background and it's a picture of an ocean view as you can see. I'm going to change that. So I like to change it up periodically. That's just uh, part of me. I like to change things up. This is what I have right now. This is what I've had before. I can go in and I can check on more images that um, Google has added. So I can just scroll down see if there's anything I really like. Um, I can go into my photos if I have anything that's loaded on my particular device, which I really don't. I have some tech easy stuff, so I'm not going to put that in. But I do want to pull a photo in that I have on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and select a photo from my computer. 
and it is from my desktop. I'm going to scroll down and I find this London 2017. I really like that picture. I put it, saved it back. So I clicked on that and I'm just going to, here it is, save. And you can see now that my background has changed and my theme is now London. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to talk to me about it. Um, I hope that you can mess around with your Google inbox and change some of these settings around and maybe you can find something that will help keep you organized and you will like a little bit better than what you're using now. Thanks and have a great day.